what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back nirvana in fire is back in action we're getting closer and closer to the end of the series i believe i'm jumping into episode 40 i want to say i think it's episode 40 um it's either episode 40 or 39 i don't even remember exactly the number that i'm at but we're definitely on the verge okay had some crazy things happen you know this week we um, went through a hurricane, you know what I'm saying? Prayers going out to all the families that were affected by this. Um, we weren't so much affected here in Miami. We just got um, a lot of rain, a lot of wind. Um, that said, we didn't really, it didn't, you know, cross over us too much down here in Miami. So we didn't get much of it. Um, some little flooding here and there, not much. And, house that i'm living in um you know don't it, it wouldn't get flooded unless it has to be a like crazy amount like to to be affecting us because i made sure that the house is like you know kind of on a hill of sorts so that's something that that should happen only our like driveway would be but that's neither here nor there you guys don't give a shit about that Let's jump into this reaction, man. Nirvana and Fire Part 2. Loving this show so far. Can't wait to see what happens just next. Let's jump in. See you guys at the end for the review. Ba安如此给来央侯, 可他毕竟是莱阳太夫人的孩子 正是萧元启向老臣透露了萧平京要起兵的反义 是源于对安如的倾心，但更重要的是想向你我示好，以后一家人了也好多加关照啊。如果只是这层意思，那就是老臣多虑了。既然莱央侯和安如的婚事已定，那哀家也该有所表示。For <laughs> these reactions, man. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna get one of those robes, bro. I'm be doing this all through the reaction to reach for stuff. <laughs> Japanese and Chinese, two languages that I really want to learn. Since I started watching these shows, she seems happy. 他是已经烧到京城了呢。又胡说，东海在猖狂，想打到京城那也是不可能的。人心惶惶，全靠莱阳侯稳住了。Imagine you end up being the wife that's of the man who planned to destroy the empire, bro. 姑娘养母自己的夫君本就是应该的。又胡说。This hell. 侯爷。见过侯爷你来干什么你知不知道今天是什么场合记得以前每次侯爷见到我都很高兴怎么得胜回京之后都变成这样的脸色了我与你家君上早就有过约定东海之事了结之后若非极为桀骜的大事否则绝不联络你
old girl from, from part one? Because I'm looking at her, I'm like, this woman looks familiar. That's, um, I can't remember her name, but that's, she got her husband back because he had the disease like me as well. What was her name again? I'm pretty sure that's her. You can't, you can't fool me with that. <laughs> that forehead was very significant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's her. Gotta be her. Oh, it just brought her brought him a gift. Oh, it's a great episode. Okay. Black crystal. Black so if I remember correctly, I think her name was Dong. I could be wrong. <laughs> Bye, 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 Bye. 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 I think her name was Dong. She was the the chief, like investigation officer or something like. That. I don't remember. I remember the face. I think it was Dong. I'm pretty sure it was Dong. Today,凌晨，我还有一个好消息告诉你。什么好消息？你本来就是皇室的禁知，再加上护国有功。近来多有朝臣奏议建议要恢复你府上的王爵王爵原岂能有今日全靠陛下信任大人提携还要你的实运好自己真有本事才行啊谢神娘吉就是大堂兄没来送家想想还有些难受不知道在什么地方连个信儿也不送好在咱们族中兴旺不缺子弟沈娘说的是夫人<笑> I wonder if you know what I I wonder if this is what Minister Shen was, was alluding to when he said what he said to Feijan because I think I think this is probably why he said that to her. I think he was talking about her because I was saying that are you in love with um you know what I'm saying with um Ping Zhan's um wife or was he talking about her? It's a possibility he could have been talking about her as well. I don't know. Why does she always look like she smells shit, bro? <laughs> Like, on some real shit. Like, why does she always look like she smells something? <laughs> like, she always look like, like a way, like, she, like something is wrong. Now you are my person. I will definitely take care of you. Actually, I don't know what to do. How the hell are you hiding in that red ass jacket you got on? How did this guy not see you? How do you not see that red jacket hiding in the, the bushes? That thing is is <laughs> 
堂那边，看到有一个人悄悄的往水里扔东西。三更半夜的，朝水里扔东西啊！你说他那是在干嘛呢？哎，老夫人以前说过，这些名门大户呀，必定藏着许多秘密。他扔的不是一般的东西，是一把亮晶晶的宝剑。宝剑，那就必定是镇宅子用的。镇宅子用的。那镇宅子用的，为什么要偷偷摸摸的呢？这， yeah, 我也不知道。Explain that away. 好多事情还都不知道呢，还是少惹麻烦的好。对对，行了，那快睡吧，明儿还要伺候姑娘呢。来，明儿得改口，得称呼为夫人了。嗯，这话平静，我之前挺替你担心的。近日看你精神还不错，真替你高兴。若是一直烦闷忧愁，又怎能照顾好家人亲属？嗯，说得好。I think Ping Jing is probably going to end up killing Yuanxi. I think, I think they're going to get whiff of something that's going on. Ping Jing, 一直没有找你调阅与东海相关的存档吗？没有。这孩子那年伤了心，看来是真的放下了。我倒觉得，越是刻意不闻不问，越是说明他的心里还没有真正的放下。有些消息他一旦知道了，就一定会心生疑窦，也一定会追根究底。我明白你的意思，有了开端，就很难真正的置身事外。常年在高手榜榜首的莫子侯，今天怎么不在了？身份变了，不宜在列榜单中。身份变了，变成什么身份？东海国主半年前已病逝，莫子侯实际掌控东海国。什么 ？Not gonna wonder? Nothing? 九兄。跟我走吧。It's time. <laughs> 走了。It is time. <laughs> Let's go deep down into the rabbit hole. All the events. 有关东海之战的所有消息都在这里了。看来九兄是早就准备好了。老阁主曾经说过，唯有知道，就是可以让朋友自己选择。无论最终如何选，都可以帮得上一点忙。It's like he knew you was gonna ask about it eventually. I only hope that he sees the plan, bro. Like he looks at his like have questions. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, how does this happen? You know what I mean? Thank you, Jingyu. Pei Er, Ah, 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 Ah
Are you serious? 沈大人此时到来，礼部有什么事情吗？是，确实有件小事，下官想听听首府大人的意思。哦，请，请。他的名号礼部有些拿不准。沈大人是什么意思啊？莱阳侯进封莱阳王，特赐双珠。有什么不妥吗？名号对其并不十分重要，自然也就无人在意。可此次莱阳侯因公而封王爵，若再承袭莱阳二子，怕是不太吉利。下官想着，莱阳侯如今是首府大人您的姻亲，故而下官想请示首府大人，是否应当？另行赐其名号啊！他莱阳侯是上过战场的人，还在意这个呀？啊！长这么大，倒是头一次被这么多人惦记着生辰。侯爷眼看就要封王，自然是与往日大费不同。封王，一个虚而不实的爵位而已。荀白水还真以为我在乎。不过也好，眼下咱们还是得乖乖的顺着他来。我就先当好一个听话的侄女婿，一心等他来提拔好了。Hey, you know, you know he got plans. Okay, right now that was a pretty chill episode. Um, of course, you want she gets married. Um. We got Ping Jing finally looking into the Donghai situation and finding out what's going on because just because of one little news that Mr. Mozan or whatever his name is as Marky Mozan, Marky Mozi, whatever his name is, has elevated to the de facto king of Donghai. So he definitely has to look into that now because it's just like how did this all of this is happening? Yuan Shi has been. Raised up. I don't think. Do they know the relationship? I don't think they do. I don't think they. I think they do, right? Yeah, they do. Ping Jing does know the relationship. Um, Yuan Shi, the like their their relationship. He does know that they're still in contact. But I, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. You guys can correct correct me in the comment section. But I do remember that. There's a possibility that Pingjing knows that that's Yuan Shi's uncle, right? Because it's、uh, it's his mom's brother, right? And she killed, she 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 essentially aided in her own sister's death, which was so wrong. Which is um the late emperor's um first love, if you will. Like he was in love with that woman. That's who he chose, and because she didn't get chosen, she she decided, you know, the crimes against their 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 household is it goes very deep.、Um, so for me, when I look at this and I see、um, how it's going to play out, or how I see it playing out, is that this rabbit hole, you know, all this information that's been going on that he was never paying any mind because he doesn't really he wasn't like he didn't want to dig back. Any of that stuff up, but now he's diving in because of this new information. Hopefully, he, you know, there's some sort of hint in there, as in, you know, that you know, it's kind of weird that this dude is elevated to king, and also Yuan Shi is moving up in rank. Just all of a sudden, all of this stuff that's happening, and nobody is suspecting anything. And I'm hopefully Jing,、um, Ping Jing, actually suspect something of them because this is just. It's just outright in your face. They have to figure out what's happening. So,、um, at least for us audience members, we know, you know, the plan that they've been that they've been、um, planning this whole time. And you know, the plan is in effect. Now, Yuan Shi is planning is like, oh, let him keep elevating me. You know, once I get to that point where where I'm ready to to you know, I'm saying rebel. You know, what I'm saying it's gonna catch everybody off surprise, and I think he's gonna kill somebody major. To um take over and wait till he's in an advantageous position, and then Ping Jing and Fei Jian is is gonna have to come back, you know, get the Shangling the 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 Shangling army to come to come back, cause you know that them dudes are just sitting down waiting, 
for the war. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to it, man. This was a really good episode, really well written episode as they've been doing quite often um, to this point. We got about 11 more episodes to go for this series, man. Can't wait to watch more. Hopefully you guys like the video comment, share, do whatever you need to do to get these videos out there, man. Um, I know it's not a lot of us watching this series right now on the channel, but I am intent. I am enjoying it. So I'm going to watch. I'm going to put out the episodes um, because, you know, we're here. And I know over time people will start watching it. Um, I think in my opinion, I think Nirvana in Fire Part 2 is very underrated. And the reason why I say that is because the amount of people that told me not to watch Part 2 is astounding i'm talking about probably 90 percent of the people that i asked is it necessary to watch part two and they're like nah you don't have to watch part two. <laughs> you don't have to watch part two it's not as good as like, i agree it's not as good but the writing is still on point and i think i think what happened as i've said multiple times before i think because of the slow start of part two i think that's what turned a lot of people off but it really picked up and became you know something good in my eyes you know what i'm saying so in any case let me let me know what you think you know what i'm saying once the series is over you can tell me if if you watch it alongside me if you enjoyed it if you did not enjoy it that's cool too i will see you guys next time peace